Hey guys, I just got back from my Scott Gossman tour up in Maryland, and I kind of wanted to go over a few things with you guys. Um, yeah, I had a blast. Um, everything was really cool. Um, a lot of cool people. Learned a lot of neat little tricks and tips, and um, saw what everybody else was carrying, and kind of seen how it worked for them, and um, got a lot of ideas. Um, and uh, we had two. Um, one clinic was about, um, kind of made you think about what you take as far as, you know, do you take an axe or a large knife? Um, and um, if you only could pick one. <coughs> and, I mean, it, it really boils down to preference, but it, I mean, it really makes you think as far as, you know, what you take. And so... We had that, and we also had, um, I believe his name is Kevin Estella um, from Wilderness Learning Center up in um, um, Chattanooga, New York. I believe that's where it's at. And we had a fire demo from him, all about the fire lays and, you know, different methods of starting a fire and what works, what doesn't, you know, things like that. And um, he had a bow drill demonstration, and I got to talking to him. Got got to talking to him afterwards about uh, what word, what wood works the best, and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really have a whole lot of wood in my area that works real good for bow drill. Um, so he gave me this set, and uh, it is um, cedar. It smells really nice, um, and it's you know the board and the um, piece and I got a lot of tips and tricks about how to do it um, you know one and a half um, times in um, that kind of deal um, and how to do the notch you can see the notch there which kind of got burnt out on this one um, and it's you know the notch is supposed to look like a traffic cone you know wide at the bottom small on the top um, I got that, and, you know, I basically learned a lot of stuff from a lot of different people who are pretty influential in the in the whole survival and um, type, you know, deal. Um, and uh, I got some cool stuff, um, which you're looking at. I got, uh, we had a trade blanket, which, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically, up there we used a picnic table, but you can use a tarp or a blanket or anything where... Everybody kind of goes around and picks a spot and lays everything out that they want to trade. And then pretty pretty much everybody goes around and, you know, mess, you know, handles things and um, see, how they, see how they like things. And if they like it, they'll offer you, you know, whether you whether they want to offer you money or trade, um, they'll, uh, you know, that's, you have to work it out with them. And then, um, you know, then you trade or you buy. Um, I bought... A couple things, and I traded a couple things. Um, you're looking at this low alpine bag. It's a low alpine express, and from what I've heard, they don't make them anymore. And a friend of mine had this, uh, the friend that I went up with, and uh, I really liked this bag. After I seen he, you know, the one, you know, this is his. But when he had it, I seen it, and I liked it. Um, and I had the opportunity to pick it up for a reasonable price, and I, I, you know went for it um, and uh, I'm really digging it's a nice shoulder bag it's got all kinds of pockets and places to put things um, and so that's going to probably be in some future videos um, also if, if any of you guys know Ron Hood or have any of his videos um, Ron Hood carried a bag like that um, almost the exact same bag and uh, so I picked that up also um, we had a raffle well, actually, I'll carry on with some stuff I got at the trade blanket. Um, I got this at the trade blanket. This is a um, Bark River um, neck knife. Um, not sure what steel it is, but I know it's carbon. Um, and it's hollow ground or uh, convex ground, razor sharp. Whoever had it before, the guy I bought it off of, which I bought it off the same guy I bought this off of, and. Uh, he had it, and he did some sanding and stuff on it, and ended up taking the logo off. But uh, I'm really loving this knife. It fits in my hand well, other than, you know, that little sharp point right there. That seems to dig into my palm a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, I could choke up on it a little bit more, but it's a little more uncomfortable. But it still digs in the meaty part of my hand. But I love this knife. I've used this knife all weekend. And, uh, you know, it's got a little Kydex sheath here, which I decked out with a Ranger Band, a small fire steel, and a little flashlight. You just push and it clicks on. And it's a little, you know, like keychain type light. And I hung this thing around my neck, you know, with the knife in it. And I walked around at night with this thing just kind of dangling off my neck. And I saw where I went that way. That's how I watched where I walked. Um, so I got that. Um, sorry if I'm moving the camera around. I'm not working off a tripod today. Um, I also got uh, this in trade. This is a... Tops Knives XCEST Alpha. Um, I'm not real familiar with it. Um, and as a matter of fact, I forgot what I traded for it. But you know, I took what I, I only traded, put out on the trade table what I really wanted to get rid of, or I didn't use, or I didn't like. And so I got something out of it at least. But I can always trade this again. Um, it's a real thick blade. It's got a real thick grind on it. Um, the coat the coating is kind of a crackle coating and I kind of want to if I'm going to keep this it's going to end up getting scandied from right about where this edge you see here down or convex from there down and you know it's it's a really heavy beefy knife um, my card to scales um, it's got a little bow drill divot there um, it's got a nice sheath with it um, but uh, I'll probably end up trading that off um, Let's see, I got uh, this little guy here. I'm digging this guy. Um, this thing hung on my ridge line in my hammock the whole time I was there. This is the knife I used if I had to get up at night to you know, mess with something or whatever. This is the knife I grabbed. Um, quick and easy to deploy. It's, it's a Blade Tech Mouse Lite. Um, that thing is really, really nice and handy. It's very small, as you can see, compared to my finger. And almost not even up to my middle knuckle here um, 440C I mean it's really nice old knife um, and you know that kinda rides in my bag now um, a handy little thing that's not gonna freak people out also um, I got uh, this guy here in a uh, raffle we had a raffle everybody got something and uh, there was custom knives on the, up there. There was water filters. There was all kinds of stuff. Um, I believe his name is uh, Mike from EDC Depot. Um, he put in some stuff for the raffle, and a couple other people put in some stuff. There was a um, Tusker from Scott Gossman and a few other Scott Gossman knives. And uh, this is what I got. It is a um, shoot. Now I forget the name of it. Um, my friend calls it the lightsaber. It is a Innova flashlight. It's got 82 lumens. Um, the batteries are kind of low on it right now, but um, it's got a screw-on tail cap or a push-button tail cap, depending on what you want to do with it. And it came with a sheath, so that's going to go in my um, blackout kit. And uh, also, I picked this up from the EDC guy, um, ten bucks. Um, or 11 bucks, something like that. It's a little fire steel. Um, I got plenty of uses for this thing. I'm always looking for a good fire steel. Um, also, on the way home, a friend and my the friend I drove up there with, uh, we stopped at Cabela's and uh, we had you know lunch there and everything. I had a, I don't remember I had a um, elk burger or something, and we picked up a few things. And I picked up a uh, Frontier water filter. Um, the little drinking straw type to throw in this bag here um, as a kind of a everyday carry type thing um, I also got this this sportsman's blanket it's, it's OD on the outside and um, that foil stuff on the inside it's real durable feeling material um, I believe it's 5x8 um, something like that 7x8 something like that um, but uh, that's going to get plenty of use um, also, I learned a lot of little trip, uh, you know, tips and tricks. This is the, the cook system I took up with me. It's the Snow Peak. I think they call it the um, Solo. I'm not sure. 
Um, but it's got you know two pots and a lid. Um, it worked pretty good for me. I cooked my coffee in this and poured it poured it into there. But that's an awful small mug, and this does not cook a lot of coffee. So what I want to do is use this as my mug. Take this out of the equation and put a small, like one pound, you know, metal coffee can in there, and use that as my cooking pot, um, along with a uh, God Design bottle. And so that's what I'm going to do for that. But I wanted a lot of little tips and tricks about, you know, different things. Um, I used boot sticks, um, pounded two sticks into the ground, pretty close together, on, underneath my tarp, and put my boots on them upside down. That way, I kept any water out of them or, you know, bugs or anything. And that seemed to work real well. Um, a lot of little knot tricks and stuff for my my hammocks and my tarps. Um, lots of little tri you know tips and tricks. Met a lot of really cool people, and overall it went really good. 14-hour drive though, oh that wrecked havoc. Um, pretty sore still from that. But uh, that's what I got in trade. What I bought, you know, what I got along the way. Um, some of the little tricks I learned. Um, but uh, anyway, for any guys that were there and seen see this, uh, thank you guys for everything. I had a great time, and I'll be back next year. Uh, for everybody else, uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.